Knight, Rimana. Commander Rimana, medics told me that you don't remember much. Weird voice, I know. I must say, you come back here with some pretty serious wounds. I must say, you, ca you came back. Okay, it looks like an O from here, man. Indeed, I've lost part of my life. I've lost part a part of my life, really. Uh, but at least I managed to refresh a few dormant memories. I did? Oh, from those pre previous conversations, alright. I understand. I'll try to restore your memories uh, rapidly as we don't have a lot of time. I'm listening. We are in the delicate position since you... We are in a del delicate position since you failed your last mission and our plans against the Jian have changed a bit. Of course, but from what I understand, the conflict seems to be calming down. Uh, it's only calming down because our forces, alongside those of the Secreta, are pers uh, presently engaged in overthrowing the Federation. It all seems a bit blurry in my head at the moment. So what's the solution? Um, don't these lead to this, this sort of the same conversation in the end? Uh, oh, what the hell. I don't have the time to go into minute detail. Minute detail. Okay, I guess I'll have to do without them. Our operation to overthrow the Federation has begun, but I think that our superiors at the Secreta uh, glossly under under grossly, grossly sorry, <laughs> grossly underestimated the power of our enemy. The federal counter attack is likely to be costly to our forces. The federal counter attack is like the the state is funding a counter attack. Uh, thanks to the chaos created by the me metastromonic force. We still have the advantage. Additionally, the endless attacks by lo looters on various federal planets have given us a moment to catch our breath. Well, I'm pleased to learn that our final victory is at hand. Commander, indeed, but, but our mutual interest is, in fact, for, far rem removed from this pointless war. We absolutely must find a way, and above all... Uh, but, uh, and above all a reason... To eliminate the Xians. At the very least, we need to weaken their powers base, uh, base their power base, or make them uh, worthless in the eye of the Secreta. All right. That's exactly what I would have said. You seem to be quite reluctant. What's going on? My own mentor wishes peace, and I admit that it plants the seed of confusion and doubt in my mind. You are my commander. Why should I be hesitant to follow your orders? No, that's not possible. I don't, I don't believe you. What wouldn't I believe? I mean, I've lost all my memory and the things he said weren't really that shocking. I'm gonna go with the first one. Your mentor? We'll see you about this later. Don't worry. But you joined this team to help the cultures seize power. The Jians are an insult to I. In short, we must reach our goal at all cost. Uh, time plays against us. Why such haste? Uh, did your wounds make you drunk? Yes. You've seen for yourselves that this thing... That... Blah, 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 that <laughs> you've seen for yourself that things are calming down between our two factions. And the Jeans have become more and more victorious against the Federation lately. I'm not sure I want to stay in our special little team. Ah, uh, why would I not want to? They sound pretty cool. I mean, they have a cool name. I, huh? That's a cool, cool name. Uh, as you, Commander. All right, I'll call you on what? I'll call on you again soon. But what? There's that's the end of the conversation. It didn't take me anywhere. That ended very abruptly. I must say, this is not the. Fr I think both the previous conversations, heck, even the ones in the previous videos, sort of felt like they ended abruptly. The, it doesn't feel like a flowing conversation. And I can apparently walk into my my clones, and they follow me. Yay! See, the the fact that the conversations ended abruptly and they told me nothing makes it more difficult because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing over here, but that's because there's nothing over there. So, whatever. Uh, it's green, so I can walk. Right? I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. I'm, oh, thank. God, I'm not gonna fall. Whew. 
Hmm. This makes me think, because previously when I suddenly got attacked by all the enemies, was this thing red? Because as soon as I start attacking people, I'm an enemy, right? So I'm guessing if I approached this thing at that point, I would have been considered an enemy, and this thing would have been red, and I would have fallen down. Would make sense. Good security measure, actually. Please turn green, please turn green, yes. Alright, so... Here are a few cues. Armory... Uh, Archives, I don't see what it says over there. Medical, I think. Training room, medical archives, armory, alright. What up, Orionos? Hey there, glad to have you back. How are you, Orionos? Still hunting down the metastromonic force? Haha, <laughs> as usual, the more I kill, the happier I am. Happier. You wouldn't believe the stuff I've seen. Uh, I believe you, but I don't think I really want to know. Tell me, what have you seen? I want to know. Did you know that some of the creatures of the Force have begun to take on the form of uh, psychotic delirium or even fantasies? The metastromonic Force really is something. Don't bother... Uh, blah, blah. Something both uh, fascinating and strange. Could you tell me more about the Force? The metastromonic force, well, it's cosmic emanation coming from some source we cannot ascertain. Uh, nature, the universe, who knows? Uh, these creatures take the shape of our fears, our, voice, our vices, our fantasies, to better destroy us. I saw one of these creatures before leaving the cave, I think. A humanoid thing that looked like a shadow. Oh, the thing that popped out of the wall, right, right, right. Ah, yes, the Mandu Manduko, a reflection of our hidden self, which also serves as the incarnation of cannibalism. Ugh. It should also be some perverted mutation of mankind. According to some sources, this is what becomes of the first... This is what became of the first miners exploring... exposed to the Force, who knows for certain. I'll catch you later, Orionus. If I encounter any more of these creatures of the Force, I'll let you know. This was actually a very good conversation. It also f had a definitive ending when I said, you know, thank you, I'll talk to you later or something like that. Uh, plus I learned more. So apparently there's this thing, this force that's uh, attacking the world at the moment. Outside the other conflict being between the... So there's several different plot things going on at the same time. I can't read this. Commander Rian is that? Am I supposed to go see the commander again? I don't think so. So the armory is this way. Uh, I think I really want to go to... Wait. It says armory right there. Right fucking there. So why am I supposed to go this way? It's the wrong way. Ugh. Whatever. Let's just go. Turn green, please. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Some kind of gargoyle. So, what's this thing? It's red. Alright, do not go here, because I'll just drop. The clones are a little bit annoying, because they stand in my way. I can't walk through them or anything, so, you know, I, I can get stuck in a tight, tight corridor. A little bit of light. It's kind of cool. Kind of a cult thing. So is this the armory? Pretty dark place. Well, it says armory, so I'm gonna guess that this is the armory. Even though it says armory over fucking here! Ugh. Can I use this? Hey, they still use a QWERTY keyboard in the future. Q-W-E-R-T... There's no Y. Oh wait, the Y is over here. Yeah, still QWERTY. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So this is the armory. Let's talk to this dude. No, wait. Uh, is this the, my Scrabble unit, the one I was talking to earlier? I cannot tell. And there's really nothing to do here except to talk to this guy. So, welcome to my shop, man. 
Ha <laughs> Not even a comma. Welcome to my shop, man. Yeah, it's time to make your choice. Okay, show me what you have. No, I just want some more, some information. No, I'm not interested. Uh, show me what you have. Whatever. Oh, it's a shop. It's an armory shop. That's <laughs> would have been would have been very useful to know. I mean, I thought I could just change, uh, switch out my weapons and stuff. Uh, so this is the hammer thing I saw earlier. Uh, this is some kind of pistol. The okay so it requires a certain amount of agility, strength, or accuracy and stuff. Um, I wish I could get back to the thing with the, at the beginning where I, where, I, where there was the mobile armory. That would have been useful because one thing I found out between the two play sessions when I was doing a bit of a research is that this game is far more fun playing as a shooter. So I would actually benefit from getting an assault rifle, or a rifle or something like that instead of the sniper rifle and going for stealth. But I, the sniper rifle is still useful, I guess. So I'm still I'm not in a bad situation yet. Uh, Brozov. Okay, Brozov is money, I think, based on this thing right up here. So when I collect Brozov, bro, bro zones, uh, <laughs> I basically I'm collecting money. So I have 4,436 Brozov, and um, submachine gun, automatic shotgun, sniper rifle, assault rifle. This is this is a, an assault rifle. It looks like a shotgun. Uh, d d d can I sort them back? No, I can't. That sucks. Uh, assault cannon, grenade launcher. What's this? Scrab. Oh, I can throw out my own turret. That's pretty useful. But what, since I have the freaking clones, I should be all right so far. Sentry. This is also pretty cool. Uh, none of these things I can afford. Wait, I can afford this one, but I don't want this one. That sucks, actually. I hoped I could afford a little bit more. So, coming here was completely pointless. Hmm. One of these clones stood in my way, and as I pushed into him, he walked away. So I guess I'll be alright if I get stuck in a corner. I hope. I hope to God I'll be alright. Uh, so, story progression, I think, is this way. And the armory I saw is somewhere down here, so I'm gonna go visit it. Can't talk to this guy. Green. Green. Wait, I can't even get to that place, can I? Maybe I can. Medical. I don't need to go to medical, I'm pretty much full up on health. This thing is closer than that thing, so... so Alright, let's try it. Straight ahead. There's nothing here. Ugh. The music is, is pretty good, actually. It, it's very atmospheric. It's very... It, it's, it draws me into the setting. So I can climb down here. Uh, where's the... Ar oh, alright, here we go. Alright. Armory time. So, um... The thing is, I don't have a lot of space in my armory. Spe speed... Ma oh, there's that word again. Malice. I see. I know how to say it this time. Malice. So apparently carrying more things slows me down. So I have a 37%. I'm 30%. I'm 37% slower because I'm more, away, uh, weighed down by a lot of stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this sword, and I'm gonna get rid of these pistols. And what's this? This is ammo for a type of weapon that I don't have yet. Uh, let's see, I, I wanted to get the, uh, the assault rifle, the submachine gun, shotgun, alright, assault rifle, alright. Heavy extras, what's this? 
Grenades. All right, that, that's good. We'll probably need grenades at some point. But let's go with the assault. So we have the rotten mound, which was the weapon I think I saw when I was down in the, in the sewer in the first uh, in the previous videos. Uh, it does about wait, where is it? okay, 115 to 135 in damage. This other one does slightly higher, higher uh, as far as accuracy, which is pretty important for me. Expected accuracy is good on both. No, this one that has lower actually has average. So I guess in every sense I'm sp I'm better off picking this one. <laughs> uh, not the Rotten Mount, but the KA-93. FKO, whatever that means. Uh, 30 rounds on both. Heavy recoil, semi-automatic. This one has uh, semi-automatic or full auto. So this weapon is superior in every way, I think. 12.7k uh, wall piercing. Yeah, this weapon is totally kick-ass. I want this weapon. But I have to remove this one. <laughs> Alright, so I keep this one. Good. Plus I can throw in some more ammo under it. So, ammo, 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 ammo. I don't want to go higher. <laughs> ammo! <laughs> there we go. Uh, as for these, I don't need the red ones because I just removed those. So, red ones go away. I don't have the, S the, the submachine gun anymore, so let's remove these as well. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Uh, and this was for a sniper rifle. Yeah, it looks like some kind of sniper rifle. And I don't have a sniper rifle anymore, so let's remove that. And this is Demez... Oh, God. Demezador. Demezador clip. I don't think I need that either. So, what's going to replace the previous ones? Let's see. Um... No, I don't. I don't really have room for a lot of things. This this actually can fit. This is a shotgun, right? Yeah, this fits pretty good. All right, dude. <laughs> that, wait, there's a character on The Simpsons who sounds like that. Snake. That sounded just like Snake. I'm good at impressions. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly. Uh, okay, so we have some shotgun ammo. We have. Very little for this pistol. Let's see. We need more pistol ammo. Here we go. There. And there. And just for good measure, let's put in some more here and here. And I also wanted some grenades. Heavy. This is pretty cool, though. But I'm not going to get it. So, let's grab, like, three grenades or something. So, that should be enough, I think. A decent m amount of uh, ammo for all weapons. I have a few slots left, but I think this should be enough for now. As for my malice, it's still 37, and I was alright so far, so I think this is a-okay. I'm going to leave these open for... Picking, eventually picking the stuff up that I might want to keep. So, that's it. Uh, armor, light. Any benefits to these? Oh, okay, so the armor uh, dictates how fast I am. I think I'm going to go with lighter, because I, I like being fast. And that's about it. Except. So, let's check it out. My regular pistol... Mm -hmm. My grenades, I think. Yeah, this is my grenades. This is a weird way of uh, aiming grenades. And then we have the shotgun. Totally badass. Double barrel. I don't want to aim at this guy because I'm probably... Oh, wait, this is my clone. I don't want to risk it. Never aim at friends. Because <laughs> then I accidentally do something bad. I like this. This scope is really good. This is totally awesome. Yes, definitely. Plus, it said it had good accuracy, so I'm all for that. And, uh, of course, my sword that I still keep. And that's about it. I'm going to stick with the pistol for 
basic stuff, running around and stuff. And here I can try the weapons out, but I don't want to waste ammo. I think I got it pretty good so far. So let's go continue the mission.